Hey, how's it going, you guys? My name is Mize, and some of you may already know what we're going to be discussing, but if you don't, it is a new Terraria game being developed by ReLogic and Engine Software called Terraria Otherworld. Now, in the background, the teaser trailer is going to be looping, and that's great and all to look at and get a small idea of what this new game is going to look like, but just keep in mind that it is pre-alpha footage and will most likely be going through changes before the final release. I'm not going to comment much on the actual visual stuff released, other than it looks really interesting, but the gameplay is really what's going to matter for me the most, and we won't know about that until we actually get our hands on it, or some more information about the game is released. So what I'm going to spend a bunch of time on is what this game is, and what it's not, and some of the other information that the developers have released about the game over on the post on the Terraria community forums. So first of all, this is not going to be Terraria 2, but rather a spin-off in the Terraria series, which we kind of got that impression before, as it was hinted that Terraria 2 was not going to be the next game that Red worked on, but until now, we didn't know what the game would be. And also, this is a partnership between ReLogic, the original creators of the PC version, and Engine Software, who handled the port on the console versions, which includes the Xbox 360, PS3, Xbox One, PS4, and the Vita. So it's kind of cool that they're coming together and feel like they have a good enough relationship where they can co-develop a new game. And that's just good to see, because they are both small developers in the grand scheme of things, and seeing them work together just shows that they are really just trying to make the best possible game for the fans that ReLogic maybe couldn't have done on their own. And speaking of trying to please the fans, they are not going to go the route of releasing an early access version, as both Red Diggit and Mr. Rudy are not a fan of this, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are also quite fed up with this early access BS, uh, with all the failures and the money grabs that we have seen in the last year or two, and this was confirmed by Rudy in this post here. There's also plenty of comparisons with Starbound with the graphics and movement, but I find that kind of silly because when Starbound images first started going around, everyone was just saying that it was basically just a Terraria ripoff with improved graphics, so I guess what I'm trying to say is that we just have to wait until we know the game better, because while Starbound is more about progressing your character throughout different worlds and planets, this new game seems like it's going to follow the original Terraria progression where you improve your character alongside the same world. And this is why I didn't focus on the teaser trailer as much as I'm focusing on what the developers are actually saying, as in the original post, it gives us a very brief description of what you're trying to accomplish in Terraria Otherworld, which I'll just read out for you here. Set in an alternate dimension within the Terraria universe, Terraria Otherworld places the player in a life and death struggle to restore a once pristine world, now overrun by a malevolent force that has corrupted nature itself to its original splendor. So that right there already gives us way more information about the game than the 47 second teaser trailer, and it seems like our end goal is just to purify the world similar to how we were supposed to cleanse the world of Terraria from the corruption or crimson. This does, however, lead me to speculate on a possible theory, which you can agree or disagree with, or come up with a better one, but mine is that your world that you spawn in from the very start is, as you see in the trailer, dark and hostile, as your quest is to remove this corruption from the world, and as you do so, the world becomes more alive and brighter in color, which, as I say out loud, sounds kind of dumb, because that's pretty much what, I'm, what they said in the first place, but the reason why I thought this was because, for some reason, the entire teaser trailer was in a darker shade of colors, and we never really saw any sunlight at all, so yeah, I found that kind of strange. And one last thing that is important to note is that this has had no impact on the development of the Terraria 1.3 update, as there are more than just one team of people working on these two projects, as Senex stated here, so hopefully we'll be getting more information about that as well soon. So yeah, once again, this is all pre-alpha footage and information, and while I personally don't like exactly how the character's design looks at the moment, I am keeping an open mind and won't let my assumptions dictate how I feel about this game until I actually play it myself and see the end results. Hopefully you guys will also treat the game in the same way, but I know and I'm sure the developers also know that this game is not going to be for everyone. Even the most passionate Terraria fans might not like this spinoff, but once again, reserve your final judgment like I will until you actually play and experience the game for yourself. So yeah, make sure to leave any comments or opinions that you may have on this new Terraria game down in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. And yeah, have a nice day.